Hey guys, it's Richard here, back with Richard Plays, Nancy Drew, Alibi and Ashes. Now in part 6, we were finishing talking to Nancy Drew's dad, Carson Drew. And in this video, we're going to be covering a lot of stuff today. We're going to be interrogating suspects. We're going to be getting fingerprints in order to, uh, you know, use it to scan and figure out whose prints have been on what. So, let's do it right now, guys. Okay, I'll upgrade it to almost never. Don't worry. You're not guilty, and you've got me in your corner. We'll get through this. How's Hannah doing? She's so sorry she couldn't be here for you. She said she's rushing back home. I told her that we'd take care of things, but you know how she is. I should get going. Bye. Alrighty. So we are gonna... Let Bess take over, and then we are gonna quickly go back to Nancy's house. For a little bit. <clears throat> I just spoke to my dad. He said the alarm at Town Hall was disabled at 2.17 the day of the fire. Can you check everybody's alibi at that time? Totally. We'll figure out where everyone was when the alarm was disabled. I'm passing the case to you, Bess. Time to help Nancy. Sweet. Alright, since we're at Scoop, we might as well talk to people. So let's... I'm wondering if we can talk to Deirdre. Hi. How do I know you didn't forge the note you gave Ned? Forge the note? Is forgery even a thing people do anymore? Yes, it happens all the time. That's stupid. I would have just typed it up, printed it out, cut out the middleman. Where were you at 217 on the day of the fire? I was out on the clues challenge. Same as you. Don't believe me? Call Jessica, 555-2741. Or Holly. Five 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 six three eight eight. Catch you later. Goodbye. Thank you, Deirdre. Now let's talk to Tony since we're here. Hello. Do you know anything about Brenda and Nancy? I don't have to tell you. There's a lot of animosity on Brenda's end. Between you and me, Brenda's still furious about the antiquities of the ancient world special. The traveling exhibit that Nancy found out was full of fakes? That's the one. Brenda broke the story herself. Word is, she had negotiated a special with one of the cable channels. But when Nancy broke the story, the cable people killed her special. Brenda went full out ballistic when she heard. I don't know if this is true or not. They say one of the Heights Nine news interns went home that day with a broken arm. What? That's the rumor. One thing I know, she hates Nancy. Big time. Can you tell me where you were at 217 on the day of the fire? Here. Can I have some ice cream? Of course! Alright, let's get some ice cream. We're gonna try the minty badness. Ooh. Mmm. So good. Alrighty. Thank you, Tony. Alright, now we're gonna go to see Brenda um, unfortunately we're not able to talk to Alexi as best uh, for reasons that I haven't covered in this video but I might cover later on but I want to get through a lot of stuff today so we're just gonna talk to Brenda right now hi Deirdre said she intercepted a note intended for Nancy what do you mean she was following Nancy and snagged the note. So someone was trying to lure Nancy to the fire with a note? Yes, exactly. What's to say she didn't write the note herself? I've seen that sort of thing before. What's to say she did? Basic logic. I couldn't possibly be guilty. Look at this note that anyone could have written. It's desperate. Where were you before the fire started? Live and on the scene, as usual. I'm pretty sure most of the town saw the broadcast, and this story is on the fast track to national coverage. You didn't answer my question. I'm sorry, I'm working on a lead. I have to work on my notes. Hmm. Hi. Have you turned up anything on Tony? I'd love to. That's the only thing that can make this story better. What do you mean? Tragedy? Government cover-up? Now that's a national story. I would kill for Tony to be wrapped up in this. Do you think Tony might actually be behind the fire? My sense tells me no. 
But my ratings say, please, please let it be her. Why? She looks all upstanding, but she's on the take. I mean, she just has to be. What do you know about Tony and the fire? I've got it on good authority that she was putting the squeeze on the police to take someone into custody. Didn't seem to care who took the fall, as long as it happened fast. Did she push for Nancy to be arrested? Doubt she even gave it that much thought. She wanted the fire off her list and in yesterday's headlines on the double. Why were you at the antique store? Trying to get some background on Alexi. Didn't go all that well. Why not? He's not a fan of the media. And he's cranky and he's old. And I broke one of his things on accident. And he would not let it go. You've impersonated Nancy in the past, haven't you? Possibly. I've done some crazy things to get a story. It's part of the job. How crazy. I can't give away my methods. A lot of what I do is setting up a trap and seeing if anyone falls for it. And when they do... Wham! See you at 11 because you just got nined. That's not exactly news. Nope. It's better. It's actually interesting. I understand that you were upset that Nancy ruined your big story about the antiquities of the ancient world show. Yes, I was, but that's the business. I lose stories constantly. There's no such thing as a solid story until it hits the airwaves, and even then... Wouldn't you want to get back at Nancy after she ruined your big debut? I did. And then I got over it. Do you have any clue how busy I am? I don't even have the energy to hold a grudge, and if I did, I'd never have time to do anything about it. Bye! Drop by if you've got any hot tips. Alrighty. Thank you, Brenda. Anyway, we're gonna follow up on, um, we're gonna follow up on Dear Just Friends and call Holly and Jessica right now. Oops, that is not Holly. That is Ned. <laughs> call Holly. Hello. Hi, Deirdre Shannon gave me your number. Can I ask you a quick question? Um, sure. Where were you yesterday around two p.m.? Hanging out with my friends. Who was there? Deirdre and Jessica. We were working on the clues challenge. Are you sure about that? Positive. You can ask Jessica if you want. Sure. Thanks for your help. Bye. Okay. Hello? Hi. Deirdre gave me your number. Can I ask you a quick question? Um, sure. Where were you yesterday around 2 p.m.? Working on the clues challenge. Who was there? It was me and Holly. What about Deirdre? Ha! She was supposed to be there. Ended up coming hours later, as usual. What do you mean by that? Don't tell her I said this, but she's not a very good team member. She's never where she says she's going to be. She's always running around, and she'll never say where she's been. I shouldn't have said that. Don't tell her I said that. Oh, I have to go. Mm -hmm. I'll let you go. Bye! So... Her, um, her alibi doesn't follow up, so obviously Deirdre was lying. Hello? I'm passing the case to you. I'm on the case. Alright. Um, not exactly sure what we need to do, but I'm going to look on the suspect profiles list and see if there's anything I have to put. So, two lean in supply closet. That is Tony. This is Deirdre. Has snowflake ice cube tray. That is also Tony. Said she was working. Can't confirm. I think that's Brenda. Yep. Okay. Pretty cool so far. Alrighty. Um. Haven't done that. Run the print from the note that Ned dropped Check. off for me. Ah. Uh, okay. Hold on. So let's check that note again. No matches found. Did that. Check. Alrighty. I guess we're gonna have to call back Ned then. What's up? I checked the partial fingerprint from Deirdre's note, but there weren't any matches in the system. 
If we can get a match against one of the suspects, I might be able to get out. Can you find a way to get prints from everyone? Yes. Ned, we need to get Deirdre's fingerprint. See if you can distract her. Distract her? Maybe invite her out on a date. Anything so that we can get her fingerprint. Can do. Your turn to take over. Time to help Nancy. Here we go, Ned. Alrighty. Going back to scoop once more. Hi. It seems like your friends aren't as confident about where you were as you seem to think they'd be. Between you and me, they're kind of dumb. That's not a very nice thing to say about your friends. You talk to them or something, right? I'm not wrong. Anyway, we're not for real friends. They're still in the 90-day trial period. I can return them in their original packaging at any time. I was wondering if you... Yes? Maybe we could go grab some food together. Yes, I would like that. I can't go out like this. I'm going to have to go get ready. But you're out already. Oh, Nedwin, I know you're used to spending time with Nancy Drew, but not all girls are like that. Some of us find better ways to spend our time than playing detective. Alrighty. Sweet. Yes, got it. Awesome. Okay, cool. Now, I believe we can also get Ned to get Alexia's fingerprint. So let's try doing that right now. Maybe not. We'll see. Greetings. I'm looking for a gift for my uncle. He's a real train buff. Can you help me find something special for him? Now that's a question I like. You got it. I'm gonna go see what I got in the back. Just hold on. Okay. All of the prints must have been wiped off. All right, so that doesn't work. What about the metal polish? We could polish that. There we go. Oh, look at that fingerprint. Got it. Awesome. So we got Alexis. Now we only need two more. Let's go get Brendos. Hello. Thanks. Bye. Bye. How do we get rid of her? I don't know. I don't know. You're gonna have to figure out some way. Um, okay, let's try getting Tony's then. <laughs> Hello, how can I help you? Nancy saw a snowflake ice cube. Just like what you use here at the fire's point of origin. That's some compelling evidence. Does she still have it? Thanks. Bye. Come again. All right. So we have to play swap a lot in order to get um, Tony out. So the video is going to end shortly, but we're going to start this right now so you guys see how it works. So um, you just switch these numbers. They only go vertically. Um... What word is this? But. Okay. But the. Um, but. If. She. No, the. If the. A lot of these words have like. Like. Um, like the easy ones like the, right? And you can. They're pretty easy to solve. This is shouldn't. Or something like that. Anyway, guys, in the next video, 
we're going to be continuing this and doing more, getting all the fingerprints. So until then, peace, guys.